Hey everybody, Tom Joy here from Visionary Music Group. I hope you're doing great today. We have another mix tip video for you. This short video, we're gonna talk about mix bus processing and how it can help you with your mix and your workflow. So let's dig in. All right, over here I have a mix auxiliary channel. So in every one of my mixes, the whole mix feeds to this. In this case, this mix was done in the box. If I use my Outboard Dangerous Summing Mixers, that would go out to them and then come back in to the same place. I have quite a few things on my mix bus, but they're not hitting too hard and they're not always on. So for instance, in this particular mix, I wanted to filter out any low end rumble. So I noticed there was a little bit too much of this frequency going on between the guitars and the basses and everything. So rather than going and gutting them, after I got my balances and everything was good and I was happy, I just went in here and did that. And then I usually go up here and sweep around because there's a lot of digital noise. But in a lot of mixes, this won't even be on. So what will happen is these will come in like these in active and I'll turn on what I need right at the start of the mix and work into it. My usual go-to compressor for the mix is this Vertigo VSC2. It's a VCA compressor styled after the SSL. It's different, it's a little more hi-fi. I may want a different option. So I have these guys inactive right here. So I have the option of turning on any one of these three compressors and I'll show you what they are. And you can take a quick listen. My other option is this townhouse compressor. Then I also have the option of using the UA SSL compressor. And the option is if I want the mix to have more low end power, I could use the Shadow Hills. So what's interesting is they're there and they're ready, but I don't have to use them, but I don't have to go fishing for them and find my preset, it's ready to go. Now, if you notice this one, it will play a little bit. Watch the meter, it's not hitting that hard and this is pretty much the loudest part of the song. So there's a tiny bit of movement, but it's it's cumulative. Like, I like this for something it does to the mix in a glue fashion. Then I like this Greg Wells Mixcentric, no higher than this third notch, and it's sort of like a nice loudness button. We'll hear that in and out. When sway, just to go along, in. Go along, get along, so there's not a lot of that on, but it does something. Then I have this manly massive passive. You can see all these are very low, but that adds a little something. Then I have, this is a hardware insert. It's my dangerous liaison router. And in there I have a Tone Lux compressor set to 20 to one, but it's barely touching and it does something great to the low end and sort of reigns in the track. I have a dangerous back CQ set for some high end boost. And I also have the dangerous compressor. So let's go to a chorus and let's pop the dangerous liaison in and out with our three analog processors on the mix. This will be out first. The life you say we need has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. No, no, no. Now in. The dream's not us to keep. Awake and disbelief. Madness is now complete. Out. So that's a major, major difference. So the analog stuff, since there's three things, that's doing most of the heavy lifting. But the other stuff kind of reins it in. Then you have this stereo spreader. You can see it's automated. So I just widen out the choruses a little bit with that. Then I have my Pro-L, so I don't blow anything up. And then probably my most important thing, adapter AB, so I can watch what's going on frequency-wise and volume-wise. The life you say we need has fallen so what's cool about this, I can A-B it to another track that I that I like. So here's the playback area of, of that track. We'll put it near a chorus. The life you say we need has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. No, no, no. Then I can analyze the frequencies. The dreams not us to keep. Awake and disbelief. Madness. And I have... 
have all these loaded up to check for different reasons and in different songs I'll check different things. So let's check out different compressors and you could see how having these in here ready to go is really helpful. So we'll start with the one that we, we know. Switch to the townhouse. The life you say we need has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. The dream's not us. And we'll switch to the SSL. So we'll go to the uh, AB first, the Vertigo, then SSL. The life you say we need has fallen at our feet. Madness is now complete. Long gone, long gone. The dreams not us to keep. Awake in disbelief. Madness is now complete. So what's cool about experimenting like this is not only do you hear what it does to your mix, but this is how I discovered I liked this for guitars, which is not the usual first pick as a guitar sidechain because of what it did to the lower mids. And then I liked what this did to the higher end of the guitars, so I like it for that too, and I found I liked it on drum stuff and drum room. And then this guy, when I kick this in, you'll hear the low end of the mix change, and that's how I found out I liked it for that. So that's why those are on my sidechains. So, you know, don't necessarily run out and buy more stuff you know, make use of what you have, A, B, it, shoot it out with other things and see how it works. So learning about your mix bus can really help you learn about how all the gear works. So on mix bus processing, have everything ready. Don't make any one thing do too much work. Don't be afraid to use all you have in your toolbox in little increments to help. They're all tools for the job. And experiment and have fun with it and don't be locked in. Have a few available and keep them in your template so you're ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video about what we use on our mix bus. Please subscribe if you dug it and hit the like button. We appreciate your support. Smash the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more content like this in the future. Leave us some comments, ask any questions you like. We'll get back to you. Thanks again. Happy mixing.